Today, we head to one of Thailand's most picturesque locations, Rayleigh. Known for its limestone cliffs, gorgeous sandy beaches, and laid-back vibe, this is the perfect place to spend the next couple of days. After arriving last night to Ao Nang and Krabi, we're rested and ready to fuel up and find a boat to take us to paradise. Good morning from the balcony of our hotel here in Ao Nang Krabi, which is called Sea Seeker. We arrived last night and we couldn't really show you the view because we were, well, it was dark, so. But here is the view and it is stunning. It's gorgeous. Waking up in the morning, opening the curtains and looking out at this, brilliant. So nice. The room has pretty much got full windows all around, like floor to ceiling. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's really bright out here today, so I'm just gonna keep one eye closed <laughs> for the remainder of this. But we've just been down for breakfast. Pretty decent hotel breakfast as they come. It's a very family-friendly hotel. So if you have kids, this is probably the place for you. I think there's a kids club downstairs, there's a pool, and there's a slide that goes into the pool. We haven't actually gone on a slide yet. It looks epic though. Breakfast was pretty, all right, I would say they had a decent-ish selection. Not maybe my favorite breakfast, but I ate loads of food and I'm not hungry anymore, so that's a bonus. And it's included in the price, so that's pretty decent already. Now we're just sitting up here with a nice coffee, with a nice view. Before today, we head to Rayleigh. Now, yesterday, we tried to book some sort of transport to Rayleigh because they have an actual desk downstairs in the hotel that books transports for you. But they said, no, can't do that one. Apparently, for that one, you just have to go down to the beach and find a boat. Uh, so that sounds pretty makeshift. I'm sure we can make that happen. We just have to get a taxi down to the beach and get on a boat. How hard can it be? <laughs> I've looked online and they should be about 150 or 100 baht per ticket to go to Rayleigh. There's only 10 minutes on the boat. So, really? Yeah. So let's try and get that kind of price. Yes. I did not know it was 10 minutes. <laughs> Trying to book a grab and having the same issue as yesterday where they're not picking up. Um, but I don't want to book a minivan again just to go down. No, no, this is a really short ride. Yeah. Um, maybe we should check some other apps. Worst case scenario, we can walk. What's up? There's a lady with a sort of a tuk tuk thing. Okay, she'll take us? She'll take us, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll go in. My love, that's, is that there? Is that I'll, good? I'll hold it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good, come to This is a much better way to go down to the beach than in a taxi because we're just open air. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Oh, the beach looks so nice. Wow. Oh, the blue water looks gorgeous. We did it. Whew, straight to the cafe because we have so much time before we can actually check into our next hotel. We can come down here to Ao Nang Beach, sit outside, have a coffee or something else to drink, and then just leisurely get the long tail bow over, because it's just a 10 minute ride yeah. over to Rayleigh. This is perfect. That was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> so the grab was meant to be, for the cheaper one was 100, and for the plus one was 189, and she charged 150, so. To be honest, she was right outside, dropping someone else off. That was yeah. the quickest way. Uh, that was brilliant. I'm happy. I'd rather give it to straight to a lady than for grab to take 20%, you know? Yeah. 
I just wanted to take a moment to speak to you all about the paid partner of this video, BetterHelp. Many of you know me as a happy-go-lucky, nothing can bring me down kind of person. And although that's true for a lot of the time, it's been very easy for me to overlook my mental health when we're constantly on the move and exploring new places. But recently I realized that I need to talk to someone who can offer some professional and unbiased advice. And that's when I started using BetterHelp. BetterHelp has been an invaluable resource for me, especially now as I navigate through the complexities of a significant loss in my life. It's difficult to express the emotional toll that it takes and managing feelings of isolation and stress hasn't been easy. Speaking with a therapist through BetterHelp has genuinely helped me process these emotions and find better ways to cope. BetterHelp connects you to a therapist tailored to your needs right from your phone or computer. You can choose to communicate through messages, phone calls or even video chats. If you're considering therapy or you just need someone to talk to, I highly recommend trying BetterHelp. It's been so nice for me just to have a professional person to talk to. Use our link betterhelp.com forward slash two passports one dream to sign up and you get a special discount on your first month. It's all done from the comfort of your home, making it easier than ever to take that first step towards feeling better. Remember, it's okay to seek help. Check the link in our description box below to get started with BetterHelp today. Stay safe and take care of your mental health. Now let's get back to the video. Come to Coffee Club, which is one of the main coffee chains in Thailand, I think. I think it's Australian owned, but we've got a good uh, iced coffee. And we come here quite a lot usually when we're in Thailand. This is the first time this time in Thailand. We haven't had much time to just go for coffees, have no, we? No, no, we haven't. But it is really nice. It's got huge menus, loads of drinks. I actually got a hot matcha latte. It uh, looks so nice. And it's just really lovely, taking it a little bit more leisurely today because we now arrived at the beach. We know we can take our time, figure out the boats, make it over to the hotel, and then we have loads of fun things we want to do in Rayleigh too, but it's just a bit of a laid back travel day today. There's no times that we have to keep, which is really nice for a change. So while Adriana's sat in the coffee club, I'm gonna try to see if I can get these uh, boat tickets so then if we have to wait an hour we can just still sit in the coffee club but if it's just 10 minutes then we can just go straight away so we got uh, Rela Beach uh, two people single yeah. alright tickets have been acquired they were a hundred baht each as I imagined or as I looked on Google uh, and the boat goes whenever there's eight people ready to go so I'm gonna head back to get Adriana now hey hey how did it go yeah, uh, I got tickets, 100 baht each. Really? You got them already? They leave whenever there's eight people ready, so let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Oh, that was so easy. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Riley, Riley, where are you going? Riley. Riley. Hopefully we can get a suitcase past the water. <laughs> He's gonna have to help us. <laughs> we did purposely not wear sneakers today and not wear anything sort of below the knees so we could just walk through water if we had to. Turns out that's the case. <laughs> you got this. This bag is so heavy on my back. Beach is just long tail boats. Yeah. On the left hand side is all long tail boats, yeah. on the right side is all the people on the beach. So. Yeah. Wow, that was a lot of effort to get off that uh, boat. Having a rolling suitcase on a beach always feels so embarrassing and hilarious. Nobody else on that boat had any luggage at all. I think they're here for a day trip. We're not just here for a day trip and bringing our suitcase. We're staying here a few nights. Um, so that was intense. But the amount of boats here is ridiculous. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. But I, I assume they will leave towards the end of the night and in the early morning, so that'll be nice. Oh my god. All right. We're in the sort of main bit of railway. It's quite busy here. It's giving me Kopipi vibes. Now we're just trying to find our hotel, which should be up here, but our Wi Fi uh, is not reaching here. So, you found the um, hotel, yeah? Did you find it? Yeah. I think somehow I have enough enough internet to sort of get a map up. And because I've searched it before, it's on the map. So this this way. <laughs> it seems like there's a lot of um, weed bars and reggae bars and chill bars here. I'm seeing a lot of um, mushroom bars as well. Like not kind of Shiitake mushrooms. Yeah, not the kind that you would have in like, I don't know, on a pizza. <laughs> or maybe they put them on a pizza, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. I think our hotel is a bit of a walk from the beach. About five minutes. But it seems like all the hotels are down here. And just bars and cafes and weed bars down the front. And restaurants, obviously. They don't feed the monkeys, so there's definitely monkeys around. <laughs> Uh, yeah, look at that. Do not feed the monkeys. <laughs> so, not only you will probably get attacked, but you'll also get a fine of a thousand baht. Ah, here. Oh, yay! Oh, nice. Nice chill out area there. Nice chill out area. That's their restaurant and their bar as well. Mm. Oh, thank you. Grape? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Like grape juice? Mm. That's nice. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> This place is pretty big actually. It's surprisingly bigger than the photos let on. And it has this whole bar, restaurant situation, water refill. Yeah, yeah. that's really good actually. Yeah. That's great. Ah, oh, hot water too. Oh, good. Yeah, hot water. So we can make coffee. <laughs> Some more hot water. Okay, great. Perfect. So room, it is quite big, quite moody, dark, gorgeous. And here, when you first come in, is a toilet, very good to have. And in here is a shower, very good to have, especially since somehow already everything's covered in sand a little bit. I'm not sure how that happened. Long, big desk, TV, very big bed. I think it's two, two beds. beds put together, yeah. Oh, Feels decent, actually. The pillows look good, again. Ah, yeah, they're good. We did get a few warnings from the staff saying that the monkeys like taking things and sort of coming into your room, so we have to lock the door every day and we can't leave any colorful bikinis or anything to dry outside because they'll just take up. And all my bikinis are very colorful, so <laughs> not leaving them out here, but look how nice this is. First of all, yes, please. Second of all, the pool is just down here. There's also some rooms that have private pools, it looks like. But there is the big main pool. This is nice. This is really nice. It's going to be nice and calm until a monkey shows up. <laughs> it's going to be like, go inside and shut the door. <laughs> I really like this. It's already giving me beach vibes. Calm. I feel like I need some more flowy clothing. I just need a sun hat and then a nice meal and maybe a drink. <laughs> Sounds good. Can be arranged. Yes. <laughs> right, I'm curious to see what the internet speed is like here because we are not really on an island, but we are far away from sort of any uh, big cities or towns. So let's see. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. See the upload. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, we have to upload every single item of anything that we possibly have to possibly upload tonight, surely. So if you ever want to 
do better digital nomading on Rayleigh Beach and you have the budget <laughs> stay here. Yeah! Wow, that's insane. 426 and 393. We've had moments when we've sat and watched a YouTube video upload for a whole night and we're like, oh my god, we've been walking around with a laptop trying to find a corner somewhere, walking around literally the whole hotel grounds. That? That's a dream. <laughs> that's a dream. This hotel is getting good ratings from us so far. Really good. We're trying to find somewhere to go for food and we like to look on Google reviews before we go anywhere. And we're finding that a lot of the places that we are looking up that have high ratings, some of the latest ones are saying that they've had food poisoning and that there's not just one review. There's a few people that's had uh, really bad food poisoning. There was one review saying that the whole family had to go to the hospital because of food poisoning and it's really not making us uh, excited to go out for food. We're just still looking for somewhere now. If we can avoid it, we'll try to avoid it as best we can. I'm just gonna keep looking um, at the reviews and keep... The food looks great in every single place. That's the problematic part. I'm like, oh, this looks so good. And it's like, I got food poisoning here. Did you... Uh, did you have to tell me that? I don't want to know that. The food looks really good. <laughs> Updates. We have found a place that does not have any reviews of anyone getting food poisoning. And it's just around the corner. It's quite new. So don't know if it's going to be, you know, absolutely fantastic. But there are good reviews for it, but just not that many. So are yeah. you ready? It looks really nice. It's just around the corner. The other ones look really nice too. Let's be honest. They probably would be fine. But let's try this one out because it is quite new. So it'll be nice. Yay! It does look super empty here, but that is because it's the most bizarre <laughs> lunch and dinner time right now. It's like 3.30. <laughs> so we've missed lunch and we're not quite time for dinner yet, but it's still open. So. Place is called Monkey Cafe and Rayleigh. Haven't seen any monkeys yet though. No, I haven't seen a single one. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes you get a pad thai that's orange and sometimes you get this sort of brown tint and I feel like the brown tints usually are more legit. Sometimes the orange one, I don't know if this happens many times in Thailand, but in the UK when they sell pad thai, I've seen them use sriracha sauce yeah. that turns it orange. I don't know why. I'm, I'm sure some of the ones in Sweden use ketchup. I'm sure they do that. It's just... A bit of a mystery sometimes. There's broccoli in there and all sorts of fun stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Have some chili flakes. I don't want to overdo it like I did last time. So today we've both gone for exactly the same thing, which is just pad thai vegetables, but lots of chilies, and lots of peanuts. Nice. The noodles are nice as well. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a good one. And they play good music here, so. Yeah. It's a cute place, I like it. I think any place that you go to that's on an island or a slightly more remote area is gonna have slightly more problems when it comes to food and maybe some people don't handle that very well and they get food poisoning. Some people can obviously get unlucky. You can get food po poisoning anywhere in the world. But I have high hopes for this place. I have high hopes in general for this uh, area. We haven't had any problems yet in three years. I feel like this is not our time to start. But I'm gonna knock on wood just in case. <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. How much was it? 320 baht. Okay. For two pad thais and two drinks. That's not bad considering we are pretty remote right now. But what we didn't get there is like a nice fruity drink. You know, maybe a fruit smoothie or something. And what better place to do it than maybe down by the beach. This beach very quintessentially Thailand, isn't it? You've got the long tail boats here and then just huge limestone cliffs right in front of us. And then loads of beach bars, which is nice. 
It's really beautiful. It's a really, really hot day. There's blue skies everywhere, which is just so nice. It's very bright though. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I was just saying to Dylan, I wonder if this place gets quite quiet at night. Obviously it doesn't go quiet at night because there's people that are staying here, but not everyone is staying here overnight. As we noticed with the long tail boats, they come over and most people don't seem to have any luggage, which surely suggests that they're here just here for a day trip. Yeah. Once you go away from all the long tail boats over here, the beach is actually really nice. I understand why people come here now. This is exactly, exactly what you need on a really hot day. There's monkeys right next to someone's room there. I don't think they've noticed, but it's taken their coconut. I don't think it's their coconut. No? No, I think the coconut, it was just below their balcony, but it was eating the crisps from the other people. <laughs> the balcony next door. So when they told us we should be careful of the monkeys, this is what they meant. Yeah, when we arrived, there were no monkeys. Yeah. So we were like, oh, you know, they're just making it up or they're exaggerating. We're walking back. From the uh, from the uh, beach, and there was hundreds, tiny ones as well. Yeah, little baby monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of lost track of time, and uh, kind of didn't really look at the sky. But sunset is happening now, so we're just heading down to the beach, see if we can find a fire show or something. Yeah. Hopefully the monkeys won't get us on the way there because this microphone looks quite uh, fluffy and fun, yeah. This is where we had uh, lunch earlier and it's called Monkey Cafe. I wonder why. Yeah. That's why. Big monkey. Now there's loads of monkeys. Look in the tree. There's monkeys there. Monkeys to the right. Show them your teeth, so don't smile. Okay. I'll just talk like this. Well, my first reaction is to smile at the monkeys to let them know that I'm friendly and I mean them no harm. But then I've heard... <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. But then I've heard that they see it as an act of aggression because you're showing your teeth to them. So, yeah. I'm like... Mm. I heard that was about gorillas though. I guess they're a kind of monkey as well. I think any animal, I think even dogs, you shouldn't really be smiling with your teeth. But I think they're a lot more chill than monkeys. <laughs> it's super cloudy, so it would have been setting right now, there. But it's not really one of those Whoa, sunsets because it's super cloudy. But there's still loads of people on the beach. It's still warm. I think we should still have a little drink, wait for it to get dark. Yeah. Maybe there'll be some fire stuff. Usually if it's a Thai beach and if there's tourists, there'll be some sort of fire show, which is always so fun. <laughs> Do you reckon they're bats or birds? I don't know, but there's thousands of birds in the sky. Wow. So many birds. No, they are birds. Are they? Wow. Either way, that amount of either bats, if it's bats, that's crazy. If it's birds, that's still super crazy. But we've come back. We've popped just up the road to buy some Savannah Premium Cider Dry. There's mainly beers in a lot of the shops here. Actually, there's a lot of alcohol pops in the shops a little bit further down, but we didn't want to miss when the sky gets just like this. It's not quite dark yet, but it's getting really orangey. Even though it's cloudy still, everyone's sat here just enjoying a drink. And we've got our ciders. Yeah, Cheers. I think life doesn't get much better than this. No, I love Cheers. you. Cheers, I love you. We have just made our spread of coffees, drinks, eggs, toast. Small spread, but actually pretty decent. I mean, peanut butter and jam is always, is always a jam, so 
and with coffee, people run. Mango. Mango shake, passion fruit shake, 50 baht each. 100 baht. Not bad. Mine's really sour. Yeah? Just how I like it. <laughs> Mango's everywhere, but oh, it must be a bit intense. This beach seems very popular for rock climbing. There's a lot of people rock climbing here. Not a rock climber myself, but as rocks go, that looks pretty, pretty hard. The beach is nice, but it keeps going all the way around the coast there. The main reason that we've come here, other than the fact that there's a really long, beautiful white beach that's fully in the sunshine, just along this way, is for this smash, this section, which is the Phra Nang Cave, also known as Princess Cave. It's essentially a shrine, fertility. shrine for fertility, but also, I think, I read somewhere, that, for example, the people that drive around on boats all day can do offerings here for just safe travels. So it's not just fertility, but because it's for the fertility god, there's a lot of phallic symbols, aka these wooden figurines. But this is so nice. Gorgeous views, beautiful clear waters. Sand and it's quite nice. long, yeah, the sand is really nice. I haven't felt it on my toes yet because I'm wearing sneakers. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm just excited to lay down here, relax for a little bit. Oh, that'd be really nice. This beach is definitely much nicer than the other beach we were on yesterday. I've just walked down all the way to the end here and it's just fewer white sand, people swimming, people enjoying themselves. Absolutely gorgeous. It's lovely. Definitely recommend coming to this beach rather than the other beach. And maybe go to the other beach for the sunset at night. Yeah. Very good beach. Probably one of the nicest beaches I've ever been to, I think. But we are going to go to uh, Kokiki in a few days. And we are going to go to Maya Bay. I haven't been there since 2017. Back then, there were so many boats and everything, and now there's no boats. It's just uh, a place where the sort of wildlife can come back. I think there's sharks and stuff there now, and uh, the boats are not allowed in there. But you're not allowed to swim, so you're just allowed to dip your feet. And sometimes the sharks walk past you. Oh, they don't walk past you, <laughs> they swim past you. <laughs> so that'll be nice. This restaurant we've come to is Bunga Tani, but I think it's a hotel, a really fancy hotel. We walked past it earlier and it just looked really nice. Um, yeah, no one really here, but again, it's about 2.30, so no one's probably eating at this time, but they sell a mixture of Thai and international. Thai, Western. It looks really nice. Beautiful setup. It's along the same road of our hotel, except that the trees open up right in front of this one. So you can just look out on the waters. Trees to your left, trees to your right, open waters. We're inside, outside. We're covered a little bit. There's a nice breeze. I mean, this is just the perfect location for a late lunch. Yeah. Hello. Is it a two for five hundred uh, Happy hour. Yeah. In Puba. Uh, not now. Here. Yep. Uh, in okay. here, five Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, so, so I can go to the Puba and bring here. You you can order in Puba and you bring he, you bring to here. <laughs> <laughs> That's Should funny. I do that? Uh, you can do that if you want to. Yeah. Okay. He was a bit confused that I said we were sitting in the restaurant, but he said he's going to bring it over. So. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> They're even giving it to us. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy your ring. Thank you. Thank you. That's so good. That's brilliant. Mm. Oh, mm, that's really nice. Oh, smooth. Mm. Food has just arrived, and I've gone for a 
chicken masaman curry that looks and smells awesome. I never buy curries because I can never find them in Thailand. I don't know why, but you can find your pad kapao, your, your pad thais everywhere in night markets, side of the streets, everything. But I can never find curries and I'm not sure if I'm just not looking in the right place, but this looks awesome. It actually looks incredible. When I smelt it, my mouth watered and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to try some. But look at mine. I've got a stir-fried cashew with tofu. They had a whole vegetarian section on their menu and since I'm a vegetarian, brilliant, but also they were a little bit more affordable, which is a win-win. But it smells and looks so sticky and good. Ugh. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. This is just too good. Bon appetit, Manon. Cheers. Love mm. a good Thai curry. Mm. Oh, this is really good. This is really, really tasty. Oh, like a little bit spicy, sweet, salty. I like it. I love it. I wow. adore it. Good choice. Mmm. Mmm. I'm so <laughs> happy. <laughs> oh, Soy mac. Soy mac. Yep. <laughs> wow. wow. That is gorgeous. Again, looks and smells amazing. Oh, that mango. That just, oh my god. Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It <laughs> looks so good. Yeah, go for it. Oh, look at that. This is the perfect way to end this video and this trip in Rayleigh. Yeah. And by the time you see us next, we'll be in Phuket. Cheers. 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 Mm. Oh my god. Oh, the rice is so good. Mm. Wow. The mango is so good. Mm -hmm. oh. Thanks for watching. <laughs>